Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Alexandria of Bahati Life. Thank you so much for tuning in. So before you guys jump in and you know pick your number because I know you guys know how this works with the whole pick a card um, reading situation, I want you to take a moment and just hear this message because there's two messages that came through this morning as soon as I opened up my eyes. Now for those of you guys who are long-term Bahati Life you know, with me since the beginning of time, you know that every morning I start off with 22 minutes of meditation. As soon as I open my eyes, I go right into that. Well, since I came to New Orleans, everything has been very quiet on the spirit side as far as visions and prophecies and messages, um, as far as them coming through and offering. And I think that the reason why this is is because they're asking me to really calm down. They're asking me to go within, to be more quiet and to be in a space where I do nothing. And that's not all of what I've been doing. I mean, I've been doing my work and stuff, but as far as, you know, receiving and receiving, you know, New Orleans is highly sensitive to energy and spirit in general. So I just feel like it's been this like adjustment phase that I've been going through, but it's actually served me and been good for me. So thanks to spirit. But the reason why I'm saying all that is because this morning when I woke up and this vision came through, I was not shocked, but I was like, oh, okay, we're starting back up again. And this vision was so clear. Basically, it was as soon as I opened up my eyes, meaning my third eye, because my eyes, my physical eyes were still closed, but as soon as I woke up and opened up my third eye, I saw the back of a horse's head, the back of a brown horse's head, and we were just kind of moving our way through crowds of people, and there were six wands around. Now, for those of you guys that study the tarot, you know that this is the six of wands, like, without a doubt. In fact, that was the energy of what I felt with this card, and I knew it was the six of wands as soon as, well, maybe like a second or two after I saw it. Now, for those of you guys that need like a reminder of what the Six of Wands is, it's pretty much the card of celebration, re reward, and recognition. Now, at the time of me filming this, and I just looked at the time, it's 2.22, but at the time of me filming this, we are in the middle of Mercury retrograde, and Uranus is moving to the sign, just recently entered into the sign of Taurus. And basically, we have a huge, we have huge shifts happening all around us. But what I'm seeing is, and what I felt from this, is that finally, finally, we're going to start seeing the rewards, the recognition, even if it seems so bleak, even if it seems like you're walking through a desert, and you have been walking through a desert, and there's no prospects, there's no you know, um, turn of events that you can see even happening because that's how bleak things may seem. It just seems like things are going to start popping off and they're going to start doing it relatively quickly because of the past um, actions, the past things that have happened in the past that have brought us to this point in time. Now, I feel like there are definitely people who are going to feel this more than others, but I just feel like you have to be open to it and to wait to see, you know, wait your turn and see what the universe has for you. The other thing is, is that there's this message that came through when it comes to faith. Oh my God, 333, three, three. like the synchronicity of the timing is so crazy, it's like the timer of the clock. But anyways, um, there's this message of faith and I'm seeing that there are people who right now, currently, your faith is being tested 110%. I, I want to say that even the person who has little faith right now is actually in a position to receive a, a lot of the re a reward. And I think that it's not because the universe is saying like, oh, you, you've given up on us, so let me prove myself to you. It's the reason why you have lack of faith and lack of trust right now in this thing manifesting in your life, especially when it comes to love and relationships, because that's what this video is about, and, that the, and that's what this message is about. It's not that, you know, the universe is trying to prove itself to you. It's that you are lacking faith because of everything that it is that you've gone through. And with bad relationships, relationships that have disappointed you, relationships that have fallen apart, or maybe aspects within your relationship right now that you're just like, I don't know how this is going to get better. I don't know how this is going to stir to life and you know, be a good thing anymore. And that's why your faith is being tested. It's almost like, can this actually happen? Can this actually get better? And the universe, I don't want to put all of the blame on the universe, but the universe is partly to blame for your lack of faith right now because the, the environment around you and these things that are happening around you have shown you that you can and cannot trust or that 
you know, it's really been testing you and stressing you out and weighing you down and you've been fighting, you've been being forced to put yourself first, you've been forced to learn how to be self-sufficient, you've been forced to learn how to put, put down boundaries, but the only reason why that is is because there's disappointments, there's failure, there's trust issues, there's lying, there's cheating, all of those things that come with relying on another person have happened in the past with you and your relationship and with your love life and it's fucked up. I wanna be honest with you guys, like it's so messed up when these things happen, when you put your faith in someone and you have all this hope for the relationship and they can't be honest or it doesn't work out or you make a mistake and you see how imperfect you are and you see how imperfect they are, over time that starts to beat down on a person and it starts to wear away at your faith in what can happen for you because all of these circumstances have shown you otherwise. They've shown you that it, you know, maybe it can happen for everybody else, but it's not going to happen for you. So that message came through so strong for me this morning, which is, you know what? The universe is like, if you're in a space right now where you are really lacking faith in your love life and what can happen, it's, it's, it's an honest acceptance of that. And the universe is saying, or spirit is saying, like, you know what, we realize we're not going to apologize for it because everything happens for a reason. We put you through it for a reason. But we also want to acknowledge that it would make sense for your faith to be tested right now. But at the same time, you know what, just be open to it. Be open to the fact that something can happen. And those are the two messages that came through, the six of wands. And if you need to review that, um, that the message of that card feel free for those of you guys who want to study the tarot more thoroughly with me and with a group we have the sacred circle tarot school that's available you know I'll put the links for that down below or you can check out my website Bahati life all the information is there and we're studying the tarot you know step by step as a group as a collective it's mentorship but whatever but um yeah that's what came through this morning and I just had to I, I planned a relaxing morning but I knew that it was I needed to share this message because it wasn't just for me it was for all of us and that's what it is that we're here today so there's three cards that it is that I pulled out just so that everyone can get a, a reading that is more tailored and specific for their needs and um, I'm gonna go ahead and put the picture of the three cards and I'll give you a chance to to resonate to intuitively connect with those cards and to pick your card and then we're gonna move on to the message look down in the description box to see the timing of when your cards are pulled if you are gravitating to more than one card then you are totally free to pick more than one card follow your intuition with this there's no right or wrong answer this reading is for you so and for you to get out of it what it is whatever it is that you're meant to get out of it because i set the intention but again this reading is 100 percent connected to love relationships romance um attraction oh there's another message too that came through um the word engagement and to me that was really shocking because at, at the moment of me filming i'm totally single and for good reason you know like i'm you know working whatever but so engagement came through and i just see this whether you're in a relationship whether you're already engaged whether you're already married or whether you're single af the word engagement when it came through it's like commitment and taking your relationship to the next level whether again no matter what your current relationship status looks like or what your love life looks like it's taking your relationship or your relationship status to the next level and commitment and that's what it is that you guys should be focusing on let's say you guys are you know wanting to sing, be single and mingle you know what i mean or have a good time i don't see this reading for the for those of you guys who are exclusively just wanting to play the field meaning like you know you know pure sex or pure you know hookup the, the I don't see that energy around in this card pull at all whatsoever in fact if that is your intention and you still feel called to go through the rest of this video and to pick cards it's because your relationship or your current status is being taken to the next level of you know, finding someone or finding a partnership that is actually meaningful and significant for your life. Again, if the situation seems so bleak and the environment around you seems so hopeless, 
like you're just you just are so sure that you know that's not gonna happen I really want to question you and push back and be like well, I don't know you know you might you I just feel like things are gonna change here when it comes to taking the relationship and moving the relationship or the universe working to help you to move your relationship to the next level of commitment, of bond, of romance, of connection, of intimacy. Not physical intimacy exclusively, but emotional intimacy, spiritual intimacy. All right, so that being said, those are the messages that came through. I'm gonna go ahead and put up the picture um, for you in just a second, and then you can allow yourself to gravitate, and then we're gonna dive into the message, the messages. So for those of you guys that pulled card number one, the cards that I have for you are Flirt from Doreen Virtue's uh, Romance Oracle. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. That's what this card says. The next one is from Ascended Masters, and it's Work Your Magic. The next two are from Nature Speak Oracle, which I'm absolutely, absolutely obsessed with this um, card deck lately. It's really been resonating with me. It's Marshland and Walnut. Both are talking about transition. With Marshland, it's transition and change, and with Walnut, it's transition and initiation. And we're going to break these down for you in just a second. And the last is the Rider Waite with Five of Wands, the Empress, and Judgment. So the first thing that I'm seeing with this, and I just can't ignore, is this space of transition obviously I see this as what once was is no longer and I feel like like you know we're seeing here with flirt and the empress and work your magic whether you're a man or whether you're a woman this is being playful this is getting out there this is what the five of wands is all about that energy of you know I don't want to say accepting a challenge, but being very flirtatious and being like kind of like pushy, not in a way that is offensive to anyone, but it's very playful. It's very like, like um, cheeky. It's very fun. And I'm seeing that energy getting coming into your life in the way that you are attracting into your life. Instead of you initially saying no or being like, I don't see the prospect in this or I don't see how this is going to play out or you know, you may be seeing someone and judging them. Let's say you're single and someone asks you out on a date. Sometimes the way that they approach you, it can be like an instant no. I almost see this as, okay, well, let me just kind of flirt with this. It doesn't, me flirting with this person or me, you know, engaging in this person, I, I'm not committed to them, but this flirtatiousness, this fun, it actually can open up into something you know, with b bigger potential. Maybe it connects you to something else. Maybe you get out. Maybe you have fun. Maybe in your own life, um, if you're in if you're in a relationship right now, or if you're in a partnership, this is again infusing that playfulness, that flirtatiousness, that kind of challenge in the way that it's like, catch me if you can. Like, can you catch up? Can you keep up? And it's very very um, fun. It's very cute. And that's what working your magic actually comes from. I think that for some of us, we really focus on, in the spiritual world, when we think of working your magic, we think of, you know, focus, we think of, you know, sh sharp and s centered and very serious. But with the Empress energy, this is a major, major card along with the Judgment card. But with the Empress energy, she is very flirtatious. And her flirtatiousness and her femininity, it actually brings in, it actually attracts. Whether you're a female or whether you're a male, it's all about attracting and bringing it in by not th taking things so heavily, not taking yourself or others so seriously and allowing yourself to engage and be in a new space of dating and putting yourself out there so that others can see and enjoy the pleasure, the beauty, the sensuality of who you are and just enjoy it, enjoy the moment. Now again, this doesn't mean that you have to, um, you know, sometimes in our society we think like, oh, I'm just, you know, nothing serious so I'm gonna have sex. You know what, sex is actually very serious sometimes and I see this more as being playful and putting up a challenge um, without giving a lot of yourself and allowing yourself to be enjoyed and allowing others to enjoy and allowing yourself to enjoy others in this like banter, this playful banter. The other thing that I really want to highlight is the fact that the word transition came up twice for you. And I see this as 
you really knowing, and that's the Empress too, and with the Judgment card. This is you really knowing what it is that you want and what it is that you are trying to bring into your life right now when it comes to love and how it is, oh my God, how it is that you want to feel. That's a big thing that just came through to me just now. This is not about, um, you know, I want a true love, I want engagement, I want marriage. I think you need to take your intention to how do I want to feel every day? Do you, and that's going to take your intention to the next level because anybody can ask for a romance, anybody can ask for marriage. If you wanted to be in a relationship today, I guarantee you, you could be in a relationship today. But the reason why, if you're single, the reason why you're not in a relationship is because you want to feel something. You want to feel something special. You want to feel something unique and profound for your life. So that's what it is that we need to call in. We, we want to call in how it is like you need to know what how it is that you want to feel within that relationship do you want to feel butterflies in your stomach do you want to feel chemistry do you want to feel desire do you want to feel sexy do you want to feel valued do you want to feel worshipped like what is it that you want to feel within that relationship whether you're in the relationship now or you're setting the intention for the relationship this is how you work your magic is focusing on how does it make you feel make sure that you are also asking for playfulness romance flirtation and chemistry when you're setting the intention for the relationships that's to come or the race relationship that is currently that you're currently in because I really want to emphasize the fact that not everything needs to be heavy. You could be in a very serious, committed relationship, but that relationship is has safety around it and security around it, so you are free to be your full self. You don't have to compromise any aspect of yourself, and that gives you the space to be free, to have fun, to not have to check yourself and watch your words or watch how you say something like, I don't want to offend him, I don't want to offend her. No, you, your relationship, you want to feel safe and secure within your relationship so that you can feel like you can express yourself without having to question like, you know, if I say this, am I gonna break the whole relationship? Am I gonna, is this gonna start a fight? So really focus on how the relationship is going to make you feel, then set the intention for that. That's what it is that I'm seeing. The other thing that I want you guys to be aware of is that, again, you're becoming very aware of who it is that you are, what it is that you want, and what it is that you want to feel like. So that being said, be very careful and mindful about what it is that you're putting out there as far as setting intention. This is not to scare you, but to remind you to take your intention and your magic, your magic very seriously. Work your magic using your words, using your femininity, your femininity, your ability to receive, um, and being open. So again, these two cards here talk about transition and initiation, transition and change. This is because there is change all around you. I see this being effortless. I don't see you fight. Uh, for forcing this or fighting it. I see this change happening effortlessly, but it's because you initiated it. You worked your magic, you said it, you spoke it, you were open to receiving it, and now it's finally coming in. And because of that, because of that initiation, that's when you start to see that change. So that's what I see for you, number ones. Oh my God, that, I'm so happy that those messages came through the way that they did, because even as I was speaking, there's more messages that are coming through. So. I hope that resonated for you. Now I'm going to move on to my number twos. Okay, my number twos. So the cards that I pulled for you are from Doreen Virtue. Oh my God, I've been seeing engagement everywhere. <laughs> I don't know if it's the seasons that it is that we're going through with spring. I mean, I, I mean, in the U.S., we're currently moving from winter into spring right now. And I don't know if it's like what's going on around us. Like you have to watch like nature. Nature is a huge cycle. Nature reflects the astrology wheel. Um, the, the astrology wheel is inspired by nature and the cycles of the universe. And because everything is so connected and I'm, I'm seeing that in our personal lives, I'm seeing this as for us, our messages today. So I'm thinking that, um, I, and I posted this on my Twitter. I tweeted about this. And if you're not following me on Twitter, then maybe you should just go ahead and search Bahati Life. But I'm seeing this cycle of engagement, of love kind of budding, and I think I actually talked about this in the first message, the first card pool message, but I can't remember because I just like channel and speak. But anyways, your card is Engagement from Doreen Virtue's Romance Oracle. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment, whether you're in a relationship or solo dolo. The next card is from the Ascended Masters 
um, by Dorian Virtue again. And this is clear and shield your energy. And for some reason, the word grounding came through with this one, grounding and centering. Then the next two cards are from Nature Speak Oracle, which I am obsessed with at the moment. And this is Willow, Veils Parting, and Summer Bringing to Fruition. But again, there's the energy of grounding that's coming through this. In fact, even now as I'm saying this, I can smell like dirt and soil. I don't know why that is, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Hopefully more messages will come through as I'm moving forward. Oh my God, and look at this. Um, Seven of Pentacles. Um, which is earth energy. Again, grounding, queen of pentacles, who is the queen of earth and grounding, and the hermit card. So these are the cards that came through for you. Okay, so I had so much energy in the first set of cards. In this card, with my group number two, it's very like, like it's very like these culmination of different pieces and putting them together, I don't even know what this means, but all these different pieces, all of this energy, it's like collecting your energy, collecting your thoughts, collecting your expectations, your hopes, your wishes, wishes, bringing them together and ex putting them right here, right now, centering and focusing and examining it, but in a way that is grounded and centered, even as I'm speaking to you. I mean, if you guys pick number one, you'll hear me when I'm talking in the message. I'm so excited, but with you, this is so grounded and intentional and slow. And that's not to say that, I don't know why that is, but it's not to say that you don't have that same level of excitement. I see this as, um, I see this as really, focused and intentional, meaning like every move that I make has a purpose and serves a purpose because this is serious. Like this is very serious. You want to take your, you want to take what you have currently and you want to take um, what it is that you're bringing into your life, who it is around you, you really want to observe because this is not this is not, you know, silly. This is not light energy. This is not, you know, I, it, it almost reminds me <clears throat> when you're starting off it with romance and relationships, we start off dating, you know, kind of early. Some of us had boyfriends or girlfriends like 14, 10 years old, whatever. Like just playful relationships. And it's like so playful. It's so light. But I just see you being very serious and very focused and I don't, it's, oh my God, you guys, I'm so sorry, but there's so many messages that are coming through. I don't see this, um, I don't want to like frustrate you because I don't want anybody to hear this message and get frustrated by it. I just want them to take it for what it is. And I see this as being very observant and very aware of how people that you are wanting to invest in or relationships that you like relationship potential or even relationship that you're in right now looking at it in a way that you see it for what it is because it's so serious because it's so significant so let's say you're single right now um with my number ones they were so like get out you know get out and explore it's very exciting for you my number twos it's very like okay this is what i want for myself and i'm not going to um compromise because I actually have to look at this as an investment. This is, I, and that's how I look at relationships. I, I have always been this way, even when I was younger. I always knew that, you know, I, and it's because Saturn rules my seventh house. Saturn is the planet of, you know, building and business and commitment and bonds and long, long-term investment. So I, if I entered into a relationship with you, it's because I saw the potential in it and I wanted to invest in that relationship. I approach relationships as I would like a business deal. You know, what is it that you bring to me? What is it that I can bring to you? And from that, what can we build together? Because I want long-term. I want to either grow from this. There's something that I'm going to get out of it, whether it be growth, a lesson, or forever, a family, whatever. And that's how it is that I'm seeing you guys, number twos, approaching this is I need to know where you're at. I need to know what you want. I need to know your relationship plan. I need to know as if as if you were approaching a business partner. That's how serious this is. And 
and the, and the reason why this is is because you really are around you really are working with this engagement energy and I've been seeing this everywhere lately and it's because you are very serious minded about building something long term building something of substance building something that is going to benefit you and the ge the future generations to come and the rest of your life to come so that being said now for some of you you'll get frustrated by that because that means that some people are going to some people don't have what it takes some people that you are you know dating or for some people you'll find that the person that it is that you're dating or that you're pursuing or that you want literally does not have what it takes to make it to take the long haul so for that they you have to see things for what they are you have to observe it sit back and look at it what is practical what is realistic what do their actions show all right and um that's what i'm seeing with this veils parting but the thing is is that you know I, I again this is knowing what it is that you want knowing you know the truth and the reality of that but also bringing aspects of the relationship let's say you're in a relationship now bringing like light to those aspects of the relationship so that you can see it for what it is the dark and like the good and the bad look at all of it and examine it for what it is you don't have to make a move right now unless you're called to but at least see it for what it is if you really like this person if you really are in love with this person let's say you're dating then you need to work around you know changing that energy and asking the universe to prepare you guys for engagement prepare you guys for a relationship or moving your relationship to the next to the next level to actually bring it to fruition and the universe will start to reveal certain things to you it will shine a light on aspects of the relationship that you need to see that you need to observe that way you can build upon it meanwhile i want you to protect your relationship i want to ask you to ask the universe to ask your guides to protect you to protect your relationship and to make things fall together effortlessly ask the universe and ask your angels to provide the steps each step of the way so that you can walk forward you know into your future with the right person because you are not light right now like your energy is not light and that's a good thing i'm the same way i'm sure if i was to pick you know cards to be on the receiving end so watching this video instead of giving this video i'm sure i would pick number two because that's really where it is that i am right now and i would right now i'm in the space of my life where i'm asking the universe show me their colors show me universe angels guides divine you know what it is that i want you know how serious i am about my intention and what i'm trying to bring to fruition i can see it i can feel it i can sense it but and i'm like very serious about it but i need you to provide the steps so that i can see what is right what is wrong what needs to be changed and if there if i do see potential in one person i need to ask the universe the divine to bless me to bless them so that we can move past any barriers so that we can work through these obstacles so that we can build a future together because that's ultimately what it is that i want for myself and ultimately that means taking the relationship to the next level let's say you're single then that means you finding someone that you can commit to and create a bond with and be exclusive with to be committed with so that you can focus on that relationship and build that relationship relationship and invest in it let's say you're already in a relationship and you guys have been together for a while and you've explored your explored each other and you want to take it to the next level or you realize like maybe this person isn't it but i do want to be with the person who is forever my forever person the person that i will build the rest of my future with why is this so serious because uh, that's the vibe that it is i'm getting regardless but queen of pentacles is here and don't take away her power just because she's feminine energy she's very she knows what she wants and she's thinking about the future she's thinking about long term she's thinking about building a home not just any home anybody can build a home but a home that is healthy that is vibrant that you know she can provide for her family that her the members of her family are contributing a, a family that it has ease and luxury and they can enjoy you know all of the hard work that, the, that it is that they put in that's the home that she wants a home that has love and 
you know, comfort and peace of mind and good food and time to cook that food. That's what the Queen of Pentacles wants and that's ultimately what I see you wanting. And in order for you to get to that, we really are kind of examining what we have around us now and asking the universe. It doesn't, again, I'm seeing, I don't see you guys needing to like throw the, the baby out with the bathwater. Maybe that what you have now has the potential to it, but you need to ask the universe, ask angels, ask your guides to bless that partner, bless your partner. Ask the universe specifically and ask um, the divine to bless your partner as well as you so that you guys can be ready, so that you guys can come together and take the relationship to the next level so that it can grow, so that it can prosper, so that more of these good aspects can come into your life and take your relationship to the next level. Let's say you're already married and or you're already in a relationship and the relationship is good, maybe this is you looking at, okay, what do we need to bring to fruition? Do we need more money? Do we need more time for each other? Do we need more um, time for ourselves, away from each other, or whatever it is? Ask for those aspects to come through. Bless your partner, bless you, so that you guys can experience the, the best, the most from that relationship. But again, if you're single, then, you know, wherever your partner is right now, you know, ask, ask them again. It's like you ask, sometimes it's like we ask the universe, like, you know, I really want this love life. I really want this, you know, romance or whatever, but, um, you're asking for the relationship as a whole, but pray for your partner. You know what I mean? Set intention for your partner. Make sure that they too are blessed, especially if they're not someone who believes in magic or believes in it the same way. You know, it doesn't matter. You setting intention and you working your magic for them will benefit them. You better believe that I, pray and I work magic around my partner, even if they're not asking for it. I'm not in a relationship right now, I'm single, but I still, I don't, I don't even know my future partner right now, but I'm working my magic for him and because he should benefit from it. He needs to be just as ready as I am as just as much as I want to be, you know, successful and see my business grow and live out my, fulfill my purpose, I want to see him do the same thing. So again, it's like seeing that and calling it in and speaking it in. That's what it is that I see. Okay, so that's what I got for my number twos. Hopefully that makes sense. I know that's a lot of information, a lot of energy, but I just wanted you guys to get it all and to get it good. All right, moving on to my number threes. All right, my number threes, it's your turn. <laughs> And I'm laughing because the energy around all of us has just been so crazy lately. But, okay, for my number threes, you picked this could be the one. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> and this is from Doreen Virtue's Romance Oracle, and it says, you've already met the romantic partner that you seek. Oh, that's spicy. Number three, you also pulled Take Charge of the Situation by The Ascended Masters by Doreen Virtue. My current, current obsession, my current favorite deck right now, look at the colors of this. You have oak, you have autumn, be strong but be gentle, harvest and sow. And for those of you guys that didn't see this, this is Nature Speak Oracle, which I love at this moment in time. This has been serving me so much lately. And from the Rider Waite, the mini Rider Waite, we have the Hermit, we have the Strength card, and we have the Eight of Swords. I don't know if you can see that because my camera's having a hard time adjusting, but that's what it is that we have here. Okay, let me just go ahead and dive in because messages are coming through. So it's funny to me because this card, this could be the one. I'm not saying that, you know, I'm rejecting the answer or the message that maybe this person that you're talking about or maybe this person within your love life could actually be the one. But I'm, I really want it to kind of be like a metaphor right now. And I'll explain that to you in just a second. But what I'm seeing and the first thing that it is that I want to see is the energy of strength. The energy of strength, the energy of force, the energy of magic, and the, the, the energy of your mind speaking things into existence and things being effortless and unfolding. The reason why this is, is because something is coming to a head. Obviously, this card is signifying, signaling that not only did some is, you know, not only did something come to a head, not only is something budding here, but it's here, it's now, it's present. That's why I'm saying, I want you guys to take this card as a metaphor. Don't take it so um, specific because that's the message that I'm receiving as I see this card. So you guys know, 
because I teach this in tarot school. For those of you guys that are signed up and enrolled in the Sacred Circle Tarot School, you have to look at the symbolism of the cards and don't take them so um, specific. You know, don't take them the um, so serious, the message so serious, because the cards will talk to you in the way that they, they know best. So they, a lot of times they don't want you to take things so seriously all the time, but they do have a message, message that they want to share. When I see this card, this could be the one to, what I see intuitively is that there is a stamp with a person that has your name on it, meaning that the relationship that it is that you want, this partnership, this bond, there is someone that is in existence that is destined and designed for you, and that is the one. You may not know this person yet, or... It, it, and when I say you may not know this person yet, I mean like physically. You may or may not have met them, but on a soul level, you you know them. You know them for sure, without a doubt. <clears throat> so that's what it is that I'm seeing when it comes to this card, when it says this could be the one. This is confirmation that your mate does exist. Now, as I say that, I already feel like there are people that have resistance to what it is that I just said, and it is what it is. It happens to the best of us. I'm not gonna fight you on that because like I said in the beginning of this message, and if you missed the, the, the start of this video, that your faith has been tested, so some of you guys are gonna push back, and I 100%, I, I respect that, but I want you to maybe take my words as bond. Maybe consider the fact that you know this this could actually happen because this is what I feel. There's a reason why you picked number three, and number three is the card of manifestation and things coming together. But in in reality, like your card shows that this is the one, which means that there is someone for you. Now, if that truly is the case, how do we get there? Because I'm all about action. If I see that there's potential for me or if I see that I have a purpose, I want to know how can I live that out. That's how I work my readings for myself, for my friends, my family, and definitely for my clients, which is, okay, we can see that this is here within the astrology chart. We can see your destiny, but how can we make this destiny unfold? Now, the next thing that it is that I'm seeing is, again, this energy of strength by mind, by focus, by word, by intention. Now, the crazy thing is, is that it's funny that I started off by saying like, if you have faith or if you're questioning your faith right now, I just want to acknowledge that because that's ultimately what I'm seeing with this Eight of Swords, which is our fear, our hesitation that can happen because of the things of the past that have already come to play that have wounded you in some way or make you feel less hopeful about the future. It is what it is. It is what it is. So there's some of you guys who are really kind of struggling with that. Um, just, you know, don't, again, don't force anything. Don't push anything. Don't force yourself to believe something that you don't feel. Don't lie. You know what I mean? Don't be like, oh, you know, this is going to happen when spiritually, intuitively, you might be second guessing it. So I just want you guys to be honest with me. I want you guys to be honest with yourself and definitely above and beyond, I want you to be honest with spirit. If you go to your altar, if you go to your sacred space and or pray and you're talking to the divine, you don't have to say to the divine like, oh, I believe this is going to happen if you don't believe that it is going to happen. Tell them, tell the universe, tell your angels, tell your guides, I am lacking in faith right now. If that's the case, when you are honest and authentic with yourself and with the divine, you open the door for miracles to happen because you were you allowed yourself to be vulnerable enough to tell the truth. Um, and that's how miracles can come, come to play, okay? So I really want that message to come through for my number threes. I don't know why, but that's what it is that it is that I'm feeling. The next thing that I want you guys um, to do is that you know, there's this space where I see things have already started culminating. Things are already happening around you. Again, it may not be that you can see it because with these cards, I see this as, you know, it's, um, it's almost like blind faith sometimes, or maybe you can see it, but you're not sure the outcome. You're not sure what's going to happen. I see this as taking a step, knowing what it is that you want and calling it in. That's how I see taking charge of the situation because even with the oak card, it says be strong but be gentle. The thing is, is that with the strength card, and for those of you guys that are a part of the Sacred Circle Tarot School, um, you guys, we've already gone through the details of the strength card. The strength card is not about forcing your will, but being in a space where you are, you yourself are able to be vulnerable, you're able to be gentle with others, and you're able to know what it is that you want, and then because of that, people respect that. The person that you love, the person that has their name, has 
um, you know, your name written all over them and your name written all of what whatever the person that is designed for you and destined for you your true love your soulmate they will recognize you regardless they will know that it is you there is nothing that you have to do or change about yourself unless it's for the betterment of yourself unless it's self-improvement meaning like things that make you a better person for yourself outside of the relationship or with the relationship they will recognize you regardless because your name is written on them like they, they, they know it's spirit. There's, there's like, they can't miss you. They, they, they'll know right away. So that's, and that's, that's so true. Like how people, you know, they'll be like the oddest of the odd. And they'll be like, if that person can be in a relationship, then surely I can. Why am I single? And I, I've heard my friends say that, you know, before in the past, but it's because that partner has their name written all over them, meaning that it was destined for them to come together. So that being said, you being you is going to create the harvest harvest. You being you is going to whether you are ready or whether you are not ready. That person is going to choose you because the you know everything in the universe conspired to bring you guys together. So they'll see you, they'll hear your name, they'll know that it's you, and the time happens now. So that's what it is that I don't want you guys to to hold on to right now is this fear or pushing or forcing. When you force something or if you're trying to make something happen, it's because you are essentially saying to yourself, I don't believe that it can happen on its own. When in reality, it is going to happen all by itself. In fact, it's already started to happen. Maybe you know this person, maybe you're already dating them. But again, just like I said, I think in my number twos, which is pray for your partner, set intention, work your magic for your partner, bless their life just as, as much as you're blessing your own and setting intention for your prosperity, for your purpose to be fulfilled, for your love life um, to grow, to prosper. Pray for your partner because I see that your partner does exist. You need to help, not help them to come in by forcing it, but bring blessings to them. Bring blessings to them and healing to them and um, pray for their business. Pray for their work. Pray for their health. Pray for their um, happiness. Pray for their steps. Ask their steps to be guided. Set intention for that. That's how you can take charge of the situation. And then also, be vulnerable. Be vulnerable. Allow yourself to be gentle. Allow yourself to speak honestly about what it is that you want for yourself with others as well as the divine. Because it's not easy, but it makes a difference. It makes a change. And that opens miracles to come through. Because as soon as you are honest and you speak from a pure space from your heart, and not shudder yourself and not be rigid with how it is that you're feeling, your partner will hear that. You have fear around you too about like, you know, am I lovable? Is this going to happen for me? Can I open myself up? Can I be more, you know, share more and be more intimate with this person? Can I be more intimate with others? And the answer is yes. This fear that you have, it's there for a reason because of things that have happened to you, whether in your childhood or whatever, but this is a part of your growth right now is to share more of yourself. And as soon as you do that, your partner, the right person will hear that, it will resonate with them and all barriers dissolve immediately. That's what it is that I see for you. That's why this card is, this could be the one or this is the one because the one that exists has your name written all over them and vice versa. It, there's nothing that's going to stop you two from coming together. Just speak out and be honest and you will be chosen. I don't know how much more I can say on this because I could really go on and on. But that's what it is that I see for my number threes and I hope that that makes sense. You are perfect just as you are. Just continue to you know, pray for your partner and set intention and magic around your partner because it's coming in. It like literally already exists. All right, you guys. So that's what it is that I'm seeing for all of, you know, for romance and hope these I hope that these messages make sense and that hate you at the perfect time. I feel this so strongly within my spirit. Every single message that came through, um I'm going to set intention and pray for you guys right now like um, set magic and work my magic from my altar right now because I feel like I have to so I'm gonna start sending those good vibes out to each of my groups because I just feel like you need it um, send those good vibes back to me if you feel like you know sharing the sharing that love and that's a great way that you can you know say thank you is by praying for me and giving me good vibes as well maybe even sharing these videos but I just feel like today is a day where we're doing an energy exchange, meaning like we're putting good vibes out there for others, bless others just as much as you would be blessing yourself and you would want that blessing to come through. And um, yeah, I mean, it, it's just, 
things are different right now. I don't know why, but I woke up this morning and I felt like things were different. And let's just get this going. Let's get this show on the road. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Honestly, I hope that it hit you with perfect timing. Know that my messages are authentic and real. I'm not bullshitting any of this. Like, how could I? But, um, yeah, I'm sending you all of my love. Make sure that you're subscribed to the YouTube channel. Tell your friends about it because I'm trying to share my messages on a larger platform and sharing that vibe and those energies for, for good because I just feel like our world needs it. And if you feel called, do it for yourself. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.